Well, John Les Ifi Oyegule is uh, right here with me for that. Good morning, Ifi. Welcome to Good TVC morning. Breakfast this Good morning. morning. Uh, does this scenario playing out now fit into uh, your mindset as that when the Sheikh and the wife were traveling? Mm. Oh, um, of course, uh, my eyes have actually been on this matter, you know, uh, since it's been incarceration, they released him, right. there was so much furore right. when he came out and then um, he took off to India. We saw pictures of how he was welcomed Absolutely. and you had people, you know, helping him get into the hospital. He was sitting on the wheelchair. One would have thought that he had um, opened up discussion with a number of doctors. I read in a report, he said, look, when I got there, the doctors I had been talking with were not the persons that I met. Okay. So to me, I'm thinking the man is smelling a rat, but they should have actually looked at it and said to him, look, you're in safe hands as it is. But it's, it's, um, I think it's expected that the man is feeling the way that he's feeling, uh, but we're watching to see exactly where he takes it. Uh, well, all to. sides have been speaking now uh, beyond the accusations extending to even the U.S. of mm -hmm. alleged complicity in this whole uh, difficulties or getting medical uh, treatment of his choice. Yes. But the federal government is also saying a different, singing a different tune now, mm -hmm. saying the sheikh hasn't exactly played uh, by the rules, uh, the conditions given to him in traveling. Talking about uh, him insisting he wants to be taken away to a place of his choice and mm. all that. How does all this uh, controversies, you know, help the case? I don't know what they understand by the place of choice. If you look at it, when the president was ill, I'm sure you're going to tell me he's a president. He had a choice where he wanted to go, and that was the UK. He preferred to go there. But for me, when I look at the big picture, I think Nigeria should begin to look inwards. I'm wondering why we don't have a world-class hospital where people like that can actually go and get the kind of Medicare that they deserve. Why are we looking out when you talk about going out to take care of yourself, to get medical you know, care and all of that? Why do we have to look out? If we're not looking out to the UK, we're looking out to Germany, we're looking out just countries outside, you know? And I think it is not something that we should be talking about. It's a big shame. Right. If you ask talking me. about the Indian position now, we're looking at uh, Nigeria, India, international relations playing out with India giving him a choice. You can choose to return. Mm to Nigeria to continue your trial or continue your treatment if you're not satisfied with that, the treatment we're offering you in India? As I said, there still is something fishy. There's something that's not adding up. I'll just tell you from, from my own standpoint, you know, having related with some doctors in India, I had a family member who needed to, you know, go to India for oh. some kind of treatment. And we were talking, those doctors were calling me, when are you coming? How is he feeling? How well is he? And they had to say to me, it was my husband actually, right. they had to say to me that, look, we cannot even take him on if he's not well enough to come for a transplant. Make sure he's well enough, he can stand, he can think, you know, and all of that. I think they're very thorough. And for a man, like the Sheik, I'm sure there would have been high, you know, there would have been a high level of um, arrangements between them. He got there, maybe he saw something else and he says, look, I cannot do this. So the question is, government needs to look at where do you want to go? And they get to monitor also. But as I said to you, there's something, um, there's something that is, you know, shrouded in mystery, well, that, that and people to need to know about it. Yeah. If you're Yegbule, thank you so much uh, for sharing your thoughts. Thank you on TVC Breakfast. Joining me now is uh, If you're Yegbule, uh, journalist, and uh, he's here for us to, uh, you know, bring up some uh, more juice out of this issue. Now, if he's, <laughs> it's good to have you join me right now. Thank now, you from for the reports me. we're hearing from uh, reports coming in from India concerning uh, what Elzagzaki is saying and what he feels and how dissatisfied he is, and then what the government is also saying, uh, there seems to be a lot of drama. But what do you make when Zakzaki is saying that the condition he is there is worse what than, kind of than, condition? than, what kind of than condition? Kiri Kiri prison? No, it's not possible. <laughs> what kind of conditions will he be talking about? We've always heard it that India is one of the best places to go to mm. when, you, when you're seeking um, you know, medical, medical treatment, attention, abroad, attention yeah. and all of that. So I'm surprised to hear that from him. I was saying in some other forum uh, that there was something quite fishy. But of course, looking at the issue holistically, mm. you would understand that there truly is something fishy, <laughs> maybe from the end of the sheik as it is. Because I don't understand where you have some kind of laid down, you know, agreement. You had an agreement. Why would you be asking for your passports mm. to be handed over to you? Yeah. Why would you say they should, you know, 
uh, let off all the security detail that, that were with you or are with you, why would you say you want to be in a five-star hotel? I know the hospitals make an arrangement for you to be comfortable in the hospital when you want to come and, there. And so to think of it when the, where, where he was the one who chose the hospital in the first place. Yes, so he did. What conditions did you put well, maybe into, he's into, saying, into, into, into cognizance before mm. you chose the hospital? Yeah, he chose the hospital, but he's complained that I'm seeing different faces <laughs> from the doctors, you know. But when you look at those big hospitals in India, there are so many doctors mm where the one you speak to today might not be the person who's there tomorrow. I know of a man who went for a transplant. When he got there, there were so many doctors, you know, but they were equally good, yeah. even the young ones. So I think the man needs to also understand that the world is watching. He needs to be careful the things he does. How would you ask for a five-star hotel? You didn't go there for tourism. You went there for medical, medical attention. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that's the kind of visa that you got. Yeah, the, so the, the report we also got said the, the hospital was, was saying to him that let, the point there is you, in as much as you have the right to doctors, but yes. you don't dictate to us. Of the course. point there is you have a medical condition and you came in here and we are ready to attend. In fact, from the report we got, they started treatment on him already. But I understand but he didn't even want to give himself up for, you know, medical <laughs> checks and all of that. Who does that? You just don't get to the hospital and tell the doctor this what is what's wrong with you. you. When, when, when you are sick, it's yeah. left for them to check yeah. you up and no. all of that. Exactly. But the, the, the comments where he said he, he will even prefer to come back home or even go, back, go now to Malaysia or Indonesia for treatment, I wonder what you make of that. No, um, I, I don't think that the government should actually budge, you know. I, I also believe that he's been giving too much attention as it is. Niger there are so many issues to, you know, focus on in Nigeria. They asked that you be released. That has happened. You want to go to this hospital. They've sent you there. I just think that the government should do what is legally right instead of you know being tossed here and there i want to go here what makes you think that he gets to malaysia or somewhere else where he wants to go and he says to you i don't like this place mm -hmm. okay finally maybe i want to go to iran maybe i want to go to saudi arabia mm -hmm. he needs to he needs to decide what it is he wants to do mm -hmm. and the government should just follow what is legal from some of the and comments, deal with the matter. Yeah, from some of the comments we're getting from uh, analysts, they're now saying that this whole thing, from the, it, from the way it's playing out, it yeah. seems it's not about medical checks in the first place. That's what it it's looks about like. about something more than that. That's what it looks like, you know, knowing that they got to Dubai and you started asking for your passports, they should give it to you, and you're saying you don't want to give yourself up for uh, preliminary checks routine and, checks yeah, and mm. all of that. Maybe the doctors would have found out that there truly isn't something wrong somewhere. So, as I said, there's something shrouded in mystery, mm. and they must find a way to get to the root what of the scenarios, matter. What scenarios do you see playing out going forward when it comes to the, 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 uh, the Iron Man itself, mm. away from the leader? Because it seemed like he's, he's sending signals mm. from the uh, audio message he sent and all of that, and this message is coming out. It's like sending signals to his members to say, okay, fine, I'm not getting what, I'm, what, what I want. So, uh, do you see some kind of maybe protest again and uh, you know Mike, things like that nigeria is um is bigger than any one person we need to understand that and the last time i checked it's mm. still nigeria mm. it is still one country and we need to look at and it a like that country exactly that. and there is a president who is in charge the box stops on the president's table and everyone is watching. I'm watching with keen interest yeah. to see exactly how he handles the matter. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Ifi uh, Onyegule, for coming on the program. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Yes. And journalist Ifi Onyegule joins us now to talk about this developing story. Uh, talking about fears by the IMN Ifi uh, that uh, this thing may have been compromised. That would be a, la a grand scale compromise if, if indeed that allegation was true. Talking about uh, the Indian factor, what do you think? When we talk about um, a compromise, I'm wondering from exactly where that will come from. Because as it is now, the government doesn't trust the IMN side. The IMN is also looking at the government of maybe going back from what it is, the agreements that they had. But as I've always said, there's just one entity, Nigeria. Nigeria uh, needs to put its foot down. 
that's I'm talking about the president. The box stops on his table. He needs to decide what it is. There must be legal, you know, ways to follow this and follow through. If there had been an agreement mm -hmm. and that side is not keeping to that sure. agreement, it's simple. You just do exactly what you're expected uh, to do. Do you see, do you see this um, excuses coming up? Or let me not use the word excuse because that may not be appropriate. Mm -hmm. Do you see this alarm being raised by Ezekzaki as a way of sending signals to his uh, followers one way or the other? India has been a destination that a lot of Africans go to, especially Nigeria. Till we have tomorrow. never had any complaint. He was the one who chose the, the, the hospital and, and, and they took him to the hospital. So talking about the condition i wasn't given this i was is that is it do you see as a subtle way of sending signal to his followers but of course it will be because he may not have the opportunity to come out and address the conference or talk to them there might be a limit to the kind of persons who go to him so he has to find every way possible to reach out to them to say look this is exactly what i'm facing but are those things the truth it's only left for you know, the government to decide what information comes out. And I think um, everyone needs to pay attention to, to what the people in India, the doctors, the government talking about. Because if you look at it now, it is something that is growing beyond Nigeria. Remember, there was a country that said, look, our man is not feeling well give him to us we'll take care of him and you just wonder how do you say this is your man this is a nigerian he lives here he runs whatever it is that he does here so i think they should take a critical look at it and hasn't uh Elf Zaki, you know also opened up another talking point about the state of our detention centers and he said in that audio tape uh, that you know have been circulating since yesterday uh, mm. that even the detention uh, uh conditions that he's been put under are way better way stronger than you know what he uh, experienced for the 13 or so years that he said he had been in Nigerian detention uh, facilities what's your take as it is um, I would like to call him a VIP as it is when you look at it they wouldn't have put him in the kind of conditions that some other persons face I'm sure both of you have seen result I mean uh, reports about what Nigerian prisons uh, like. I was saying to someone uh, of course the, the there was a change very recently that is going to be called correctional centers now as it is when you look at most countries they are shutting down the prisons because people are not committing crimes and you don't have people going to the prisons but if you look at it i'm surprised that he's saying that no one expected that they'll put him in a dungeon as it is i'm sure they put him in a place where he was comfortable mm -hmm. but for him to say that where he was in the last how many years was more comfortable than what he had in India. I would want to agree with what Mike is saying that he's trying to put a message across. Now, yes. on the other hand, when you look at it from the eyes of security and what this portend, do you think that uh, there should be more restrictions to the access of sending information out? Um, out from where you from mean? That's in him, him being able to send an audio message to Nigerians or to his followers. It depends on the agreement they have. You know, I had the opportunity of uh, visiting the International Criminal Court at some point when I traveled. And I found that there were people who were standing trial there. They asked for what they wanted. Mm -hmm. I want my wife to come to see me. They had to bring his wife. Mm -hmm. Even though he could speak English, the man said to them he doesn't understand English. <laughs> they had to bring in someone who would translate okay. or, you know, interpret what, what was being said. So we're watching proceedings there he just sat down he had his headphones on and they said they gave him everything that he wanted he could reach out and all of that so I'm saying maybe um, El Zaki has some kind of arrangement or maybe they have an agreement to say look I need to reach out to my people they need to hear from me mm -hmm. remember also that you may get some people agitated and angry if they don't hear from their man they might begin to wonder but he is went he alive? with his followers he went with select family members mm -hmm. uh, and and the I and the IMN I'm also even looking at the issue of uh, the courts now there was this argument of was the Kaduna state government appealing the courts uh, order now with the uh, the longer list of conditions that they expected uh, the, 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 the Sheikh now to have followed. Uh, so what do you think? Was that order wholesome enough now that we are seeing this uh, debate? I want to believe that um, they didn't think it through before they came up with all of those things they came up with. It's something that they should have sincerely looked at. How do we deal with these issues? Because issues and may arise. It may arise. Then again, I, I want to point out here before we get off on the show, <laughs> there have been pictures about, um, I mean, of the man, Elzak, the Sheikh, and some government officials, when the going was good, when they were was good, when they were pecking chicks and all of that. Now the story has gone sour 
we're now beginning to hear people who were always sitting to take pictures and maybe have dealings with him come out to talk. But as I say, this is something like, you know, Nigeria is sitting on a keg of gunpowder. They need to do something about it before it actually engulfs the nation. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'm very sure the security agencies are very conscious of that and so on. Well, thank you very much, Ifeanyi, for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you.